Hello, my beautiful wildflowers. How are you today? Alexis here with Oat Modesty. Today I have my June Allure box. And if you're interested in seeing what's inside, please stay tuned. <laughs> beautiful wildflowers welcome back I hope you guys are doing well as you can see I'm kind of back to back to back boxes and I know I promised you guys some things and I, I know I know I need to get it done and I really apologize for you, those of you that are waiting some of these things and I think I still have the Zendo palette that I've gotten like right before Memorial Day to still do and I, I do apologize for that but yeah, and I'm trying to get everything scheduled because I do have something very important and very special scheduled. And I've been doing a lot of research behind it and really looking back at my planner and looking at what I did. And that is about ketogenic lifestyle. And so that'll be coming up, okay? And I will go ahead and give you a sneak peek of what the thumbnail is going to look like. And this is me transitioning um, with 50%. 50% wow. 50 pounds okay I lost 50 pounds on a ketogenic lifestyle and so I just want to really help you those of you that are that's wanting to be on it or that are on it and that are not seeing progress and so I want to share my experience with you as well as my knowledge as a registered nurse and I want to put in a lot of the you know I want to put a lot of things to rest that's out there and there's a lot of false information and there's a lot of good information but not presented in a way that's you know palatable Okay, so I'm going to be doing that. So stay tuned for that. I'm actually finished with my first presentation, my research, and I'm trying to build a library of them so I can go ahead and record accordingly so there's not too much of a break because that's kind of like the information that I want to get to you in a timely manner. Okay, and before we get started with the lure box, I mean, that was my intro, and <laughs> uh, we're going to do our affirmations for the day. That's one thing I don't really want to skip ever, if at all possible. Possible. And I've been trying to be really good about doing affirmations because I know some of you out there do count on it. And I'm really, I am so happy that you guys actually find it useful because I find it useful. And yeah, it's really, really, I think um, mindfulness is huge and this really helps. So let's, having said that, my preambles are like 20 minutes long. Sorry about that. Let's pick a card. And this is a bright card. This kind of looks like a uh, early morning, uh, fall kind of picture. You see, it says here, I am strong and powerful. That's easy to say. I mean, I am strong and powerful. So this is a very important thing, right? That you need to really believe you to be strong and not only strong physically. I think this is more mentally, emotionally, and it's really important that people understand that strength doesn't come from the muscles. It comes from within. And you really, everybody has strength within themselves. They really do. You just need to know how to harness it and bring it about in everyday life. And the first ways you can do that is start with your our affirmations. I am strong and powerful. Okay, let's see what it says What in the back about it though. It says, how have I demonstrated strength recently? How did this make me feel? Okay. And for me, a lot of my strength comes through my knowledge. And, but it doesn't end there. For me to feel powerful and really strong, I have to be able to share that information and know that somebody benefited from it. Because it's not just good enough for me to have intelligence or have, um, the knowledge. I have to share it. What good is it? I mean, if you have a glass of perfectly good milk, and nobody drinks it. Not any good, right? So yeah. So how have I demonstrated strength recently? Well, I really like to share my knowledge with like my colleagues and my coworkers, especially when there's something new that's happening that they may not understand. And I'm able to give them a step up by giving them knowledge, giving them historic facts and things like that. So I think um, that definitely would qualify uh, in my world as doing that this week because that's constantly because I am a part educator and so, and I'm in charge of education. So it, it you know, I'm always using my strength. And so I, I am strong and I am powerful. And let's look at the back here, okay? So in case you want a screenshot. 
So tell me, you guys, you know, how, what makes you strong and powerful and what makes you feel that way as well, okay? So, okay, that's that. Let's get that put away. And I don't want to make this into a long video. So let's go ahead and open the alert. And this is the June box. And um, I'm kind of surprised that it's here already. I feel like I just got an alert, but I don't know, maybe not. So let's go ahead. And as you know, it comes like this and I just cut it open and there is a picture Ta -da! and on the top it says from the beauty experts and right now these boxes are $24 a month and when I um, got this box they were only 15 a month or they equal to because I did get an annual before they hiked up the price and so I'm kind of you know happy about that but I haven't seen a lot of improvements in a box from you know $15 box or $24 box so let's hope that you know there's something better today so what do we have? Like I said, we have the uh, booklet that has the information. And then um, there is a note from the editor. And then there is a card in here that says, there's a lot to unpack. Tips from our editors to help you get the most out of the products in your beauty box. There you go. And it looks like on the back, there's pictures of three different types of eye brushes, designing uh shine bright facetime okay so they're just different brushes i'm gonna assume that there are brushes in the box and so well let's see so let's get started and you're supposed to have at least a couple of full-size products um but and uh, sometimes i kind of doubt that it, it definitely there's a brush a set of brushes which means they're counting that as a full size which i don't really appreciate because brushes are brushes they're tools they're not like products so that's kind of cheating you know yeah and so let's see, let's get started. Well, speaking of brushes, let's do the brushes. Let's see, what brushes did I get? <laughs> La Russe brushes, okay, La Russe. We have seen this brand, and I mean, they, they, we have seen this brand in many boxes, and the only problem I have with this this set of, uh, these, this brand is the fact that they are really, they evaluate themselves very high. Um, and these are synthetic brushes, take a look. They're not bad, I'm not saying they're bad, I mean, they're nice brushes, but for them to evaluate these equal to non-synthetic, true like goat hair brushes, yeah, I just don't like that. Hold on one second, I just dropped my book. Okay, fell right in the garbage. Two points, okay. Anyway, so let's see what does this say about the brushes. And so, uh, it says, um, these makeup brushes are all about the finer details that take a look from amateur to professional. The flat concealer brush carefully lays down pigment to disguise a pimple that just popped up. The squat dense bristles on a short shadow brush are perfect for adding a bit of sparkle or vibrant shadows to inner corner of the eyes. The latest magic wand is also the fully, fluff, bleh, fluffiest and most versatile. Okay, and it does for the three brushes, they're saying it's $84. $84 for three brushes. And I'm going to tell you what, uh, I have three Riffer brushes here, which is about this, about the same. Um, okay. And, and these are not synthetic. These are actually handmade in Japan. Okay. These cost me about $84. So for me to believe that these are worth $84, it's hard for me to believe because like I said, number one, they're synthetic, okay? And they're soft, yes, for synthetic, but it's nothing out of the ordinary. I mean, you know, my Mophie brushes are like this. My Luxie brushes are like this. So yeah, that's the only complaint I have about that. So yeah, just, you know, I shouldn't complain. I should be thankful. Actually, I am thankful, but the thing is I don't like a company to mislead people. And so yeah, it doesn't sit well with me. <laughs> so that's that. Okay, the next product, um, uh, let's see, it is called uh, Dunginibi. Dunginibi. That's, that's got to be Asian, yeah? Dunginibi. Okay, let's see what Dunginibi is all about. Okay, let me see. Um, yeah, it's Korean because it's written in Korean. Okay, so let's see. K Beauty is good, um, you know, it's good stuff. So let me see what it says about it. Okay, this is a essence. It's called the 1899 Single Essence of Many Soothing Treatments. I've reached for to I've reached for help to heal the sensitivity I'm experiencing due to stress and insomnia. This has become my go-to. A K Beauty favorite and Allure Korea Best of Beauty Award winner. 
Okay, so, and this is a, yeah, this is not a full size. This is a travel size. And a full size is 70 milliliters for $54.99. So, you know, I will go ahead and give it a try because I do like um, K-Beauty. And let's see what it looks like. Okay, and this also helps with redness. And here it is right here. Um, this almost looks like a toner. I mean, I'm going to say a toner. They're calling it an essence, but I'm going to call it a toner. Okay, and I'm afraid to open it. It might, uh, let's see. Darn. Okay, there's no seal. So I'm going to have to use this. Okay. All right, I'll use this right away. That's okay because I'm almost out of toner. So I'll put that aside to use. I was thinking not to open it. <laughs> okay, so the next thing in a box is a, um, let's see, it is by Espa. It's a clarifying clay mineral mask. I do have products from Espa, and the last mask I received from them was a hair mask, but I have not received a face mask from the masks from them, and so that's very interesting, and you know, I mean, I do the Mask Monday Lady, so I'm always open to new masks. It says, it's a Espa clarifying clay mineral mask. My skin has been extra blotchy lately, and my regular moisturizer isn't calming the redness of my cheeks, forehead, and nose, so I was equally surprised and thrilled when this kale and clay and coconut oil infused mask reduced the redness and made my skin noticeably brighter and smoother overall so the full size oh this is the full size really that's weird okay it's 34 dollars 34 dollars that's actually kind of high for something this small but kale and clay is expensive and as you notice it's about this much full i don't know if you can see it in a light but you can see it's not even full it's about it's to here okay it's about here is the line and so all of this here is is air and so kale and clay is actually um different from the mud clay it's a little bit um more oily and it has more wax in it is what it is and it's the same as the goddess um mask by um charlotte tilbury so that's kale and clay so it's actually more user friendly than regular clay for people like me who have dry skin and so this actually will work for any type of skin but let's see what it says here yeah it's um the sweet floor oh it's got fragrance um i wore 10 minutes and my skin isn't totally it leaves it soft and moisturized so i'm gonna say yeah that's what it is so okay Alrighty, and the next thing in the box is, oh, this is one of my favorite brands, actually, Oribe, Oribe, and this is a hair product, and um, I use a lot of their hair products, and they, actually, the brand is very, very good, but it's a little bit pricey, I'm going to be honest, um, but I always welcome Oribe, and um, they have really good oils for the hair, um, a lot of good treatments, uh, the, one of the best heat protectant that I've ever used is from this company. And so let's see what it says. Oribe Flash Foam Finishing Spray Wax. Hmm, finishing wax, okay. Styling my thick, coarse, curly hair can be a lot. I like, I like to flare tron it and then shake things up, pun intended. With this ultra fine mist, it adds buildable texture to create beachy waves while preserving my straightened hairdo water-based texturizing sp uh, spray often undo my hour-long okay flat ironing okay got it and this one has got hold it's a wax and spray form so gone are the days of scooping out pomade and ending up with a spot of glob of jar somewhere on your head so this is actually a sample size and the it doesn't say what the full size is but i'm sure it's a tall can it's 42 dollars hold on a second they come about, yeah, because this is an Oribe product. Uh, what is this one? This is the um, um, <laughs> Wave and Shine Spray. So you figure this is usually the full size for them. You see, you see the difference here? Okay. So, and it's $42 for something of this size. That's funny. I keep all my hair products in the bottom, uh, like a bin here. And so, unused ones, I mean. So, I had it right there. Okay. So that's that, and it has wax, so that's nice, okay. And the only thing I really worry about is like when something has wax, it tend to weigh, weigh my hair down because my hair is straight, okay, with a little bit of natural weight, but straight, essentially, okay. And so if you have really thick, coarse hair, it probably works really well, but I'm going to have to try it out on mine. So, okay, and next is a full size, and I think you guys have seen this. Matter of fact, I have one over there. I have another one. Okay, I got it in... Um, my Fat Fit Fun a couple of seasons ago. So this is a Skin & Co. Whipped Cleansing Cream. 
Okay, and I think this is truffles in it or something like that. I, is that the one? Uh, yep. Whipped polishing extract cleansing. Let me start over. Whipped polishing cleansing cream with truffle extract. Well, I'll say that fast three times. And so, yeah, and the only thing I didn't like about this is it does have like a scent of mushrooms, you know, but it's not like the regular mushrooms. It just smells truffly. <laughs> okay, so let's see what it says about that. It says here, Skin & Co. Truffle Therapy Whip Cleansing Cream. I have sensitive skin that can become red or dry at a drop of a hat, so I rely on gentle cleansers like this cream and moisturizing one from Skin & Co. It strengthens the skin's moisture barrier with essential fatty acids, and the second I pop open a lid, a sweet yet earthy scent <laughs> with hints of almond oil transports me to a sunny Italian countryside where the brand's products are made. So it's made in Italy, and this is $35, and like I said, it is full size and it is decent product other than like she said earthy that's a good that's a good uh, name for it. earthy scent not truffly but earthy but you know what I mean so yep that's full size and you know I, I don't mind it um would I spend $35 for it if it comes in a box will I use it that's the way it goes right okay so the last thing in my box is looks like a multi-task eye serum mask by Ernzo Laszlo. You know what? This feels like it's really dry in there. Sometimes you know how you can feel the air and it feels dry? I hope not. But that's what it looks like. And this is the eye-catching instant results thing. Okay, and let's see what it says about that. And let's see. Where are we? Where are we? Oh, there must have been some variations because I'm seeing a couple of other things I didn't get. Hmm. Okay. Alrighty. Oh, yeah, there, yeah, there is a couple of things. Okay, you could have gotten either the tea tree mask, this er, um, Erno Lazio multitask eye serum mask, or the win the last choice sheet mask. So I got the eye mask. That's okay, because I'd rather have eye, eye masks because I have too many of the other kind. It says here, in addition to making me feel glamorous, Erno Lazlo's under eye mask patches are useful. They contain allotonin, a moisturizing agent that offers enough hydration to help plump little lines and soothe delicate under eyes and so yeah and it is um wow it's 16 dollars for two masks is there two in there i hope so i don't want to be sitting there with one eye let's see yeah two masks 16 dollars that's expensive okay i'll try it and see what happens Okay, my beautiful wildflowers, that's it. That's in my box this month. Let's just quickly review. Okay, we went with this um, Dong Ingbi uh, serum, which looks like a toner, and also an Espa Kaolin face mask, which I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna use this one on uh, next Monday. And we have the Oribe Beachy Spray for waxy hair. <laughs> and we have the Skin & Co. Truffle therapy whipped cleansing cream oh my god i'm having troubles here and then the one i just went over which is the erno laszlo multi-eye mask and of course our overpriced la Russe brushes okay okay my beautiful wildflowers what do i think are they getting better um, you know, I, it just surprises me that Allure has a lot of makeup out there with their, you know, symbols of approval. And yet we never see it in these boxes. Right now I'm getting to a point where I'm getting way, way too much um, skincare products because I do have a specific skincare box. The Beauty Fix by the Derm Store come to me and i rather have that because that, I mean, everything in there practically is useful. Whereas like here, I can see me using like three things and that's it. And, um, yeah, and I don't know, guys, um, am I going to renew once my subscription lapses? No, absolutely no, absolutely no, um, because this one was $15 a month. I can live with that, but I'm not going to pay $24 a month for this. I just can't justify it, and I can do other things with that money. And so, yeah, what do you think? I mean, do you get this box? I know some of you out there said, but I love this box. That's okay. That's okay. You do you, Okay. Because just because I don't like it doesn't mean it's bad. I just don't care for it. That's all. Okay? Alrighty, my beautiful wildflowers. If I added any value, please give me a like. And if you haven't subscribed yet and you do enjoy these contents, please do consider subscribing by hitting the subscribe button, hitting the bell, and click all so that way you know every time I upload a new video. 
Okay, my beautiful wildflowers, like I said earlier, please stay tuned for my keto series. And this series that's coming up is 100% to help you guys, okay? To get over those strong humps. So I hear a little kid screaming <laughs> and yelling. I hope you guys aren't hearing that. So anyway, so yeah, uh, and I'm researching a lot. I'm taking information out of my journal because I journal how I, you know, how my day goes and everything. So yeah, I'm hoping to really help you guys out out there. So, okay, my beautiful wildflowers, without further ado, have a good day, have a good night, have a good week or a weekend, whenever you're watching this. But just remember, never sweat the small stuff. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.